looking at ways through which you can sell your online course practice steps that you should take uh, if you're looking to selling an online course we're in the digital age the age of monetization where you can monetize something as little as knowing how to unlock a door knowing how to maybe wipe your windshield people have monetized everything yes no knowledge is free these days and uh, fortunately uh, despite all the odds and all the negative comments about the internet the internet has provided with a lot of benefits over the years and one of it uh, is the ability for anyone anywhere anytime to learn a new skill yes you can learn a new skill you don't have to enroll for that expensive university course or for that expensive professional course even though I'm a very very huge fan of people going for professional courses yes it's good to you know go for professional courses once in a while uh, to learn new subject to grow your skills yes from as simple as your favorite uh, digital content creator selling courses on how to edit videos, how to make TikTok videos, how to edit your Instagram reels. You can purchase some of these things to grow yourself, yes, so you don't remain on a particular spot. Of course, the digital space means that the world is constantly moving, so you don't want to be left uh, behind. So, there are a ton of courses available online, ton, ton of courses available online, and uh, if you are someone that has a lot of knowledge to share, and you don't know how to go about it, oh, how do I do it, how do I sell my course, how do I get people to come for my course, look no further, because I'm here to share with you ways through which you can prepare to sell your own online course, yes, by creating one yourself. Uh, creating an online course is also a great way to, you know, present yourself as a, a leader in your industry, to not just a leader, to present yourself as a force in your industry, yes, because you can make income off of it. And apart from that, a lot of people will see you as someone who is proactive about their craft, yes, who takes their craft very, very seriously, you not just online, dishing out free advice and, you know, letting people do whatever uh, they like with the content you post on your page, but you're making money, good money, off of it by, you know, creating your own course. According to statistics, the uh, e-learning market worldwide is forecast to surpass uh, $243 billion by 2022. Let me take that once more to ginger you, to amp up the spirit. Uh, according to Statista, the e-learning market worldwide is forecast to surpass $243 billion by 2022. So how can you be a partaker of this uh, particular forecast? Create your own online course. If you're a makeup artist, you could create an online course for beginners. If uh, you could create an intermediate course, you can create a course for even professionals. You can decide to create an online course based on a particular aspect. You can create uh, a, a, an online course on how to do brush, uh, use your brushes very well. An online course on eyeshadow application. I've seen online courses on O and B makeup. I've seen online courses on just starting your own makeup business. Yes, you could start anything. I've seen online courses on juicing. Yes, the the LD treats market is a huge market now in Nigeria. If you don't know, watch out for that. I've seen online courses on you know how to make a prof, uh, profit off of juicing, off of selling LD treats online. You know, people have this world of knowledge and they are monetizing it. They are selling it. I even saw uh, the owner of a restaurant here in Lagos selling an online course on how to make for puff, how to cook different type of Nigerian soups. People are monetizing their knowledge. People are monetizing their talent. Are using the digital space, using the e-learning platforms to you know, make money for themselves. The first thing that you should do is pick the right subject. Pick the right subject. Yes, picking the right subject plays a very, very huge role in the success of your online course yeah, because the first thing that the person would look out for is okay what is she selling 
what is the course about? Yes. By right subject, I mean right topic as well. And not just topic, curriculum as well. What you plan to cover. Give a detailed description of the curriculum, what you plan to cover in that online course. For example, if you're starting a, a business, if you're hosting a beginner's course on uh, Owanbe Makeup, you list, okay, teach you, uh, we'll teach you brush technique usage, we'll teach you how to blend eyeshadow, we'll teach you how, teach you how to perfectly match foundation shade, uh, we'll teach you how to perfectly outline the leaves, we'll teach you how to source for products, we'll teach you, you know, how to, you know, make, monetize your knowledge, even that is even part of it. So picking the right subject and uh, giving a conclusive and comprehensive list of the curriculum is the first step towards selling your online course yes uh, although it isn't as simple as uh, picking your favorite topic and diving uh, at first but when you really need uh, to do what you really need to do uh, to choose your online course topic is to determine the problem that your target audience member face on a regular basis and let me share with you one of the ways through which you can you know know the problem that they're facing put up a poll if you have a page put up a poll ask them okay what are the aspects that you're having issues with it will help you come up with a topic as well as the subject of for your course yes uh, find out the problems uh, that you're facing you know try to come up with proactive ways through which you can prefer solutions to some of these things uh, if your audience is coming for you for tips on social media marketing for example for social media marketing how to put up adverts how to make reels those things could really guide how you come up with your subject for your online course the next one don't start from scratch and i'll tell you why you shouldn't start, start from uh, scratch after you've chosen your winning topic yes you you're satisfied with the topic oh i like the topic i uh, like how this topic sounds i think my audience or my followers would want to buy this online course because of this particular topic it is time to get started on creating that content topic does not just come up on its own and that's why in research they will tell you come up with a a problem rather than a topic yes in research they'll tell you what is your problem what are the research questions that your research plans to you know address or seek solutions to it is when you've now gone on the field you've collected data you've analyzed you've you know analyzed everything that you now come up with a sensible uh, topic although it is quite different in this case yes it is quite different in this case the content yes the content of your course should be a core and also surprisingly your content can lead to your topic because sometimes you, you you may not be aware of what people really need but when you just throw it open throw it out there that hey so so, so people just okay i like it i've been looking for where to learn this really i've never thought of this people might decide to buy into it so your content is the center as well of selling your online course your content is the center of selling your online course but it doesn't mean that you have to start from uh, scratch uh, you know choosing the right topic already has already given credence to your content it will also help you develop uh, content and ideas that you want to include in your uh, course also you know don't just duplicate content your audience gets on your blog for free they might as well go on your blog and check those things out do things that are different. For example, you may have shared an idea up to a certain extent. I feel like, okay, let me not even finish it. Most of these people that teach mini importation, they do it a lot. They'll tell you, oh, we have a free class. And when you, you know, go on uh, the WhatsApp page, they'll share, share, share. And when they get to a particular point, they'll tell you, if you want to go further, pay for so, 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 and so course. I see. Initially, I used to get mad at them, but later I say. <laughs> They are selling their knowledge. No, I've got past the age of people using people's intellect, and uh, the other people are not making money off of it. No, the world is moving. The world is constantly changing. Yes, constantly evolving. So, I don't get mad at them. Uh, repurposing and redeepening your content will save you time by presenting your courses blueprints. Also, take your most popular content and expand on it. 
create an in-depth engaging learning experience an in-depth engaging learning experience like i just said uh you know you can create that for your people do not just go on your page and pick things that you've addressed before no people want more i know someone that is very good at it there's this lady ninja brand chick on uh, instagram she would share with you oh five websites to do so and so thing and then when i go to the comments i see a lot of people say can you give me contact and they say you pay for it yes when the age of monetizing your knowledge no one wants to you know work do anything for free yeah because people have got bills to pay the next tip is add visual and interactive content visual and interactive content if you're selling your online course virtually give room for activity what better way to know that you've imparted knowledge than to you know create a class activity where your students will get to you know show you what they've done and that's why before uh, covid and all most people that sell some of these uh makeup classes i've attended one myself they, they there's something that a particular makeup artist did that really stood out for me we paid for the course and then when we got there we were provided with vanity mirrors everything even though they asked us to bring our own things she wants a practical one-on-one -on -one approach when she's teaching you oh this technique that technique she wants to see you practice it on yourself or if you have a model she wants to see you practice it so create a visual and interactive content by visuals use pictures to create a mental image people learn fast when they create when you you know give them a mental image to think about yes people learn fast uh through those means so it's important uh you know why plain text and powerpoints with few images uh, are sprinkled all over the place it's important to include images to create that mental image it also not just help you sell that content it also shows that you're proactive about whatever it is that you're selling online and that you take the interest of the people that have paid for that cause very very seriously uh, because people relate well with pictures and images also consider adding things like interactive quizzes worksheets uh, templates video tutorials uh, slideshows to liven up the online course you don't want it to seem like a seminar a seminar proposal or a conference it's, it's uh, an interactive session so make it visual and interactive the next one remember it's important to keep it simple yes the gen z's even the millennials no one likes to waste time these days no one likes to waste time these days because people are constantly on the move you'd be surprised that someone that has paid for your course has paid for like three other courses and they have things to go to, uh, to do they have businesses to go to so it's important to always keep it simple yes however you might be wondering how will i keep it simple so as to deliver this online course properly you might be uh, thinking about it and thinking about how users will affect, uh, assess it very easily and that takes us back to the point that i just took keep it simple few words but very explanatory use pictures use demos explain very well allow people ask questions you don't just sell online course and you have an hair around you no it doesn't work that way yeah it doesn't work that way so it's important to keep it simple especially if you're selling for the first time you're not so experienced it's important to keep it very very simple next one market your course you've taken time to you know come up with great content strategy title your venue where you'd want to host it is it on zoom is it on whatsapp whatever uh, platform online platform that you want to use come up with all those ideas the next line of action is marketing the course do not just rely only on your platform you'd be surprised at the number of people that your course will reach so reach out to other people in your industry pay for sponsored posts and adverts yes pay for sponsored posts and adverts so once you put together your online course don't just put it on your website or your instagram page and expect it to sell no the next step proactive steps will make all my your online course you don't want to have an online course where just five people will pay for it you want a lot of people on that platform you want to share knowledge and we want to make money at the same time it's important to reiterate that make money off of your 
knowledge yes after all more people uh, that know about your cause the revenue you can generate uh, you know create a blog announcing your online course send out emails to your subscribers market your course across various social media platforms not just to your website visitors and as soon as you get enrollment ask your students for testimonials ask them for testimonials after the customers have run uh, also using social proof from satisfied customers is one of the effective ways to generate more sales as well for your online course also select uh, I, like I said earlier and I want to reiterate it again select and gather your course content imagine going to school and you have a course and the lecturer walks in and the lecturer has nothing to say you've taken your time out left your hostel or your dorm you know put on your best outfit maybe it's a monday i know students are about monday you bought your flat your perfume looking you know nice and sharp and then when you get to your faculty the lecturer just walks in and says hey today i don't think we'll do much can you i remember back then when i was in ui we always call it wastage of clothes yes going to school that day with your makeup your hair done everything looking all good and cute and then you do nothing we call it waste of clothes <laughs> so you don't want uh, your subscribers to feel like you wasted their time by not just paying for that course but you know making out time out of their busy schedule to attend that course only to find out that you have nothing that your content is nothing to write home about so the last point of action is content 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 yes content sharing information it is very very key take time to develop your content for that course because uh, you know the success of that course will also determine the success of the one that will come after it and the one after that and the one after that yes hope you're having a great time with me on the online business segment today where i have been sharing with you proactive steps that you should take if you're looking to selling your own online uh, uh if you're looking to sell your online course yes so many online courses out there the first tip is to pick a right subject pick the right content and uh, don't just start from scratch leverage what you already have on your platform deepen it build on some of those contents that, that you've shared uh, but remember not to you know reshare things that you've shared before people are paying for these things they want new knowledge they want new content so go out of your way to do your research also add visual and interactive content use pictures create a mental imagery allow for class activity allow people to ask questions allow people to collaborate even allow people to ask you questions after the course must have ended also keep it very very simple it is not a seminar presentation keep it very simple concise but very very informative also market your course use uh, the various social media platforms to market your course sponsored posts ads and all that great stuff uh, also i reiterated the importance of content 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 your content is the core of your online course the core of your online course so it's important to do due diligence 